My name's Trent, I'm with Jack Burford Chevrolet and we actually have an absolutely beautiful 2014 Corvette Stingray to show you here today. We had this brought in on a local trade. The guy has bought many vehicles from us. He's got a, a Suburban, a Tahoe, and a brand new Grand Sport Corvette he traded this one in for. If you want to see it, check it out on our Facebook page. What we've got here is a 2014, it's a 3LT Stingray. It's the Cyber Gray Metallic. It's actually got the 6.2 liter V8 in it. You're pushing around 450 or more horsepower out of this car. It's got the nice 18 inch wheels and what's nice on this car is it's got all the great integration features where you have downforce integrated in through the wheels you got it through the bumper the intakes and on the back you actually have something that's a little bit cooler and a little bit different than the z06s if anybody likes them you have the red tail lights instead of the clear glass on the back there's different modes you can do on this vehicle it's actually you can have five different modes you have weather you have eco you have sport track and touring on this vehicle and what's nice is the difference in this car versus any of the others is a 3LT gives you a lot more different options on the color on the inside of the car on a 2LT you normally get the color on the seat and on the center of this dash but on a 3LT you get the really nice wrap around which I'll show you on the inside Once you get into the car, the three LTs are going to have the Bose sound system. You're going to have the really nice trim on the outside of the door panels that are all colored. Push the start. This thing has less than 20,000 miles on it. Right now it's got 18,196 miles. You get your dual climate control, which on for the driver it's a little different than most vehicles. You actually have just one setting for the driver for your dual climate, but for your passenger, it's over here on the side passenger vent. Now, if you'll come in here and check something out with me on this vehicle, you'll actually be able to see straight through the roof from the inside, but on the outside, it's a little black. So you can't see in on the people unless you're really trying to look, which is cool for privacy, and it makes it look like it's a hard top car. And it's removable, which is even better. Also, one more thing to point out is you actually have your home buttons on the fold down. You can actually program a remote security gate your garage door openers and other things that have wireless signals that you would want to operate from your car and that's something this thing can do. So another feature on this car is the heads up display. You actually can see how fast you're going and the RPMs on this car directly in front of you projected onto the windshield. That way you're not having to constantly look down at the speedometer and see, oh, okay, how am I doing? Or if you even have it set onto what you want on the radio, you can still see your speed on the windshield. And you can change it and actually take it away if you don't prefer that. Um, a couple other things, this car has navigation. Since it's the 3LT, it has that standard. You don't have to have that additional option onto it, but that's just one thing to take into consideration along with power heated mirrors. This car is awesome. It's a little wicked, it's a little mean, so if you want some taste in your life, this car's for you. Now, if you're out anywhere in this car and you want to leave something in your car and know that someone's not going to come in and click these little cup holder buttons or get trying to look for something in this car, you do have a secret storage compartment. It's right here behind your radio. You hit the screen down button, you can put a phone, a wallet, keys, and you have a USB charger back here to even charge your phone while you're out of the car. All you gotta do is put it back up, and then there you go. All right, let's see how this thing drives. So one thing, I'm gonna leave it in sport mode just because I'm gonna leave out of the pad here at Jack Burford. We're gonna take this on the road. Even though it's raining, I know that's a cardinal sin. But a couple things on this car is you do have to realize this is a sports car. And for a sports car, it is actually very smooth. But once we actually get out on the road, you'll be able to tell a difference. Even when you drive this car in person, you can really feel how in tune you are just by the way you drive. If you leave a hand on the shifter, you can still feel all the vibrations through it. You can tell exactly what this car is doing. Even though it's a low profile, you can actually see out of it really well. You might be able to hear it. Nice. Okay, now some key features for this car is you do have a lot of features on your steering wheel. You can actually play with the radio from your steering wheel. You can change the stations. Um, you can put cruise control on this car. There's a lot of different things you can do on it. Play navigation. There it goes. There's your navigation. You can actually have it to where it's zoomed out, zoomed in. You can have it to where it does your destination. This is actually really great. It's through most of it's through OnStar, but most of the information on this. There we go. 
Now you can actually see it moving. Now, a couple of things, if you don't want to run this car in sport mode all the time, if there's this little dial right here in the middle. You'll actually turn it, and I can put it in a touring mode, which it makes it a little more relaxed as a car, and then you can turn it one more time to the left, you have an eco mode. This will actually help you integrate your fuel management system to maximize the fuel economy that you can get in these vehicles. And in 2014, you could actually get really high 20s to the mile per gallon on this vehicle just by keeping it in eco mode and driving like a normal everyday driver. As long as you're not dogging into it, this car actually gets pretty good gas mileage for a 6.2 liter V8. And then while you're looking here, there's a couple other things to bring to mind as well. You do get heated seats and ventilated seats. I'm not sure when they started that exactly, probably hit it that one out, but you can actually show the different levels just by pressing if you're familiar with them. The ventilated seats, you have three different levels as well, and these can actually freeze you out pretty good, so if you're not careful or paying attention. Talk about the caliper system. Now the calipers on this car are awesome. If there's one thing that I like about these cars is they give you that style to where you actually have a unique look to the car. You can get the red calipers on this vehicle that actually say Corvette on them. That's something that they always integrate and in trying to show that, hey, we are looking at the details on this car. We want you to feel like you have a unique vehicle and you can just go from there. And then, this is also really cool too. Now, all your OnStar controls are basically by touch. Alright, so one more thing that the cameraman actually mentioned that might make this car a little bit better is everybody that wants a manual transmission. Well, I got a solution for you. Grab the shifter, pull that, now you're down in manual, and I can shift this car in manual by the paddle shifters, and here, I'll even, you can actually hear it. But I'm not giving it too much, it's just there, you can control it, all from your fingertips, no clutch included. So in case someone's sitting there going, I don't know how to drive a standard, but you still want to know how good it sounds in second gear going 30 mile an hour, click a button and there you go. Nice. All right, guys, so we're actually coming back into the dealership. If you don't know where we are, we're located at 819 Eastern Bypass, Richmond, Kentucky, 40475. Uh, if you're not wanting to look online and get directions, we are right off the 90 exit. You can take 90A or 90B. We're right across the street from Walmart and Lowe's. We're really easy to see because we're right up on a hill and we can look at everybody on the backside. So come see us about this car because we... We want to see someone take a great car for their first one. If it's not your first one, it's still a great one to have. Woo. I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did because it's not every day you get to drive a vet. That's just one of the perks of working here. I love working with everybody here. We do not expect this car to stay long. So if you're interested in a vet, come check it out. Come see it. See what we can do for you because if you don't want that in your garage, I don't know who else would.